and my two schoolfellows, whom I will trust as I will adders fanged. So I feel kind of dumb because uh, I figured out how these supports go. The sad music is uh, it's on purpose. So this these things labeled, well, this one's not, where are they? It's around here somewhere. What did I do with the dang thing? Here it is. Rear switch panel support. Yeah, that's how that goes. Duh. So feel kind of stupid. So other than that, right uh, side's coming along nicely. As you can see, it's just about done. I'm gonna do the top part in a second and let you know whether I decide to go with uh, TJ's way or the way I kind of did it. So we'll see. Yeah, TJ was right. This fits a lot better, which sucks because I'm gonna have to take that all apart, which is really annoying. But you know, that's just what happens. Um, yeah, if you make this part flush, and they stick out like that, it goes all the way down to the end there. That's, that lines up way better. So, as opposed to this one. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna bolt this one into place. Then I'm gonna pop this guy back up on the workbench and redo him, which, oh God, that's so annoying. But, well, mistakes happen and I'm gonna own it, so. Okay, just for my own sanity, I took the two cockpit halves, which is not easy, by the way and line them up next to each other, just so I could make sure that these two are relatively matching. And what I've concluded is moving this one kind of into position, like TJ suggests. TJ suggests having it line up here and having it line up here. It's not too far off from what I have. Um, I think I'm just gonna match this one. It's not really gonna make a big difference at the end of the day. All I want is for people to just look at it and be like, oh yeah, those two are symmetrical. That's all I really care about symmetry here. As far as the actual ergonomics of the cockpit, it's not gonna make a gigantic difference. So just be advised, I'm deviating from official instruction here a little bit. Your mileage may vary type situation. Also, since I chopped too much off of this one, I'm gonna bring it back. Actually, I'm gonna put a block there in and block in there and everything and uh, that's going to be that but I'm also really thrilled how the panels line up like they're pretty freaking good um so yeah that's my plan I'm gonna lock it in place like this and that's going to be that for the uh the right panel and then I think I'm I think I'm done I think I'm done construction I mean I gotta make the aces seat which you know I have one already but I'm gonna build one for you just because I'm making it I've got the, the setup I've got the screws I've already begun the series I might as well go all the way and build the seat too just so you guys can see that as well though the seat construction is really not hard. I was able to figure it out with a little help from TJ by myself. It wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, I think I'm done. I think I'm done construction. I'm getting excited here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lock this into place while I've got it like this. And that's gonna be that. Your tools are not invincible. They can break. So uh, yeah. Well, here it is. The construction's done. It is <laughs> quite large. It is like, well, I mean, it's the nose of an F-16 chopped off, so it makes sense. Obviously, I've got a lot of finishing to do. So, you know, for example, I gotta chop the ends of these screws off. I gotta spackle these holes. I gotta spackle the ends there, chop this off. But, you know, given I just finished the construction, I just couldn't resist, you know, putting the whole thing together and of course sitting in it. So I need like a, like a ladder or step stool to get into it. God, it's so big. So anyway, here I go. I've got the camera zoomed out, so it's kind of like a fisheye lens. Actually, it feels pretty, maybe a little tall. I don't know, it's been a while. I actually sat in an F-16 trainer way back in 2019. And uh, I'm trying to remember what that felt like, but it's, it's a unit because the stick, the stick comes up pretty high. It's right about here, I suppose. So I need to be a little bit farther back. So I can just, I mean, that's easy enough to do. I can just scoot the whole thing forward a little bit, like boop, there you go. So it's the good thing about a cockpit that's this modular is you can adjust things like that. The pedestal won't be adjustable though. It's gonna be there and there's nothing I can do about that. But anyway, yeah, it is a piece of work, that's for sure. Anyway, there will be more videos to come, obviously. 
Uh, I've got a lot of finishing touches to do on this thing. A lot of finishing touches to do on this thing and uh, painting, of course, too. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching my videos. Catch you next time.